two-tier pricing in Thailand. Different prices for Thais and foreigners. Entrance fees to some national parks are 20 baht for the Thais and 200 baht for the foreigner. Those against think two-tier pricing is racist. Whether you think two-tier pricing is right or not is a way of life in Thailand and do you think it is really worth missing a beautiful national park and other attractions over two-tier pricing or a point of principle? Tell me what you think in the comment section below after this video. Sorry, <laughs> have nothing over there. You see? <laughs> you see? Sometimes you get really, you know, really annoyed. We're in northeastern Thailand at the moment in a province called Nampur Lapung, 45 kilometers from Udon Thani in the Isan area. We're just going to have a quick look at the town before we head for a waterfall in the same area. Not really a town, it's more a city, but uh, well, anyway, let's go and have a look and we'll check out the waterfall afterwards. is a province, not town, because Dong uh, Borampu is very big town, then the separate is uh, one province now. Znambarampu. A big lake in the middle of it. Reservoir or something. It's quite okay. Make a detour and have a look. This one, park. Namburampu. It's one of the northeastern provinces of Thailand. Neighboring provinces are Udon Thani and Khon Ken. It's actually 45 kilometers southwest of the city of Udon Thani. Nampulong Pang is one of the poorest provinces in Thailand according to the Bangkok Post. As of 2018, the average wage was 41,000 baht a year. That's $1,200 a year, or annually, which is about 200 bucks a month. Tell you what though, it's a great looking city, no matter how much they earn a year. For a city built around a lake, it's absolutely fantastic. Yes, that's the name of it. So uh, we're just passing through, but it uh, looks like a really good city. I will come back here one day, I think, and have a real good look at it. Looks like it's got everything you want in the city. Pretty good. Okay, we're going to head for the Dafa Waterfall. Not too far away. I think it's 200 baht for me to go in. Unbelievable. Huh? I absolutely hate this. 200 baht for you. What? 20 baht for you and 200 for me? I don't think so. I, I just won't go in. No, no way. Corn, corn. I've uh, just given the guy my um, license, um, prove that I actually live here. 
Mal's going to explain to the guy how I live here and I shouldn't pay 200 baht to go in when everybody else pays 20, I think. Yeah, it happens all the time, this. Wants to charge 200 baht for the lung to go in. Huh? He said uh, because uh, you are the foreigner, have to pay. I live here. Tell him. I tell you. He said because you are. That's interesting. Now I feel really special. He's only doing his job now. He's not, no, I'm not giving him one of that. Right. Same price tag. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, it's supposed to be 20 baht for ties to get in, now you reckon it's just 50, oh well that'll do. I just hope it's a whiz-bang waterfall. If you like these videos, don't forget to like, subscribe and share, and hit the bell button if you want to be notified of any new ones. And there's plenty of more of these movies where this one come from. Okay, back to the video. Please remember this during the next conversation. Some Thai people that are not as wealthy as some foreign visitors and they should be able to see attractions all over Thailand at a price they can afford. And remember this, if some Thais had to pay the same price as foreigners, many would not be able to see some of the wonderful attractions that Thailand has to offer. So the big question is, if you live in Thailand, should you pay the tourist two-tier pricing? The uh, foreigners in Thailand are automatically assumed to be rich. And to be charged more is perfectly fine. Well, I'm trying to be optimistic, but... Phew. You know, it's my pet hate in Thailand, the two-tier pricing. It happens everywhere. Us foreigners in Thailand are called phalungs by the Thais. I like to call us phalungs. And treating foreigners differently in Thailand is perfectly acceptable. And some Thais think this is normal, it's acceptable behaviour. I mean, it's, it's okay for us to pay a bit more, a little bit more, okay, fine. You know, so put some sort of tax on foreigners, but not just blatantly steal your money. Nobody likes getting ripped off in that way. I mean, it's just usually a small amount of money, but sometimes it's r really outrageous. I mean, uh, on the board up there, it says uh, 20 baht for Thai, Thai people, I think, and 200 for um, foreigners. That, ugh, that's quite an increase. And it doesn't matter if you've got a license to say you live here or the blue book you get when you buy a house. It doesn't matter. You're a foreigner and you will pay more. It, I, I just don't understand the sense in it. You know, it gets to a point where you can grudgingly overlook it, but uh, sometimes it just, just absolutely gets you. If you have a Thai partner, you can you can uh, get them to do all the talking for you. And if you want to buy something, they can buy it for you, playing normal prices. That's the way I do it. And that's why if you have a Thai partner, you let them do all the talking or you let them buy things for you. After a while, your Thai partner sort of understands what's going on with it, the two-tier pricing. It happens in restaurants, in, in markets, everywhere. There's three price structures in Thailand. There's the Thai price. There's the foreigner that lives in Thai price, and then there's the tourist price, which is uh, quite a bit more expensive. It's the people that come here on vacation that suffer the most. I mean, they get charged outrageous prices. You know, it all starts at the airport when you, you, you get off the plane. I mean, um, if you go and uh, flag down a, a taxi, he's going to charge you, um, well, it could be anything, 1,000, 2,000 baht to get to the uh, city. When it's normally about oh, three, four hundred baht, then you get to the uh, city and try to get one of them tuk-tuks, and uh, wow, gee, they they can be out of control those tuk-tuks with their pricing. Sometimes you get really, you know, really annoyed with these tuk-tuk drivers. They they really sort of start to piss you off. Oh, such is life. But I must admit, the uh, Thai government has cleaned it up a lot with the uh, tuk-tuks and the taxis. Uh, the airport's running much more efficient now. It used to be horrible at that airport with the, with the taxi drivers. 
They were totally out of control. But uh, I think the government has fixed them up. You know, it's getting so restaurants are charging more and, you know, uh, it's getting crazy. Markets are getting expensive. You can't really buy anything in a market without without a Thai, Thai person with you in some places. Otherwise, you're going to pay through the... Wow. But, uh, yeah, it's part of Thailand, I suppose, and it's, it's accepted in Thailand that uh, foreigners have to pay more because they're stinking rich. It's not always the case. You know, in many places I've been to, and, and they've wanted outrageous prices, I mean, ties are free, but 200, 200 baht, they want to charge 200 baht for the foreigner. I don't go in. I, I go and sit in the car or go and sit somewhere and have a cup of coffee or whatever. I just refuse to pay it. You know, they're, they're losing my money. I, I'd probably go into that place and maybe spend five or 600 baht on these stalls there or if a market or whatever it is. And uh, they just lose that money because of this um, stupid two-tier pricing. It's just ridiculous. You know, Thais don't understand. If you went to my country and, and, and um, you know, if they went to my country and, and, and bought something and was charged 10 times the price, oh, mate, it'd be on the news. Oh. Some, some Thais just don't get it. It's just so insulting to do that to somebody. They just don't understand it. They think it's normal. Oh, it's crazy. Many organisations in Thailand, public and private, are doing the two-tier pricing thing. Palaces, zoos, aquariums, cabaret shows, and of course the national parks. But some of these are free to enter, so you don't know. You know, it's never been the price of, of being charged extra. The money doesn't really worry me. It's just the principle of it. You know, one race of people are paying one amount of money, and the other race of people are paying ten times more. Doesn't work out to me. And I think it reduces the number of foreign visitors to an attraction. Having this type of price structure and therefore does not actually earn more money, it gives foreigners a negative impression of Thailand that may cost Thailand more money than it's got from two-tier pricing. The real problem is the message it sends to the Thai people. If it's okay for the government and businesses to charge foreigners more than Thais, then it must be okay for everybody else to do the same thing, like uh, shopkeepers, market stall holders, tuk-tuks, taxis. It is thought that all Westerners are wealthy and should pay more than Thai people. This video is to give visitors to Thailand's attractions the right to choose. I don't think it's right that some tourist attractions hide the fact that they have a dual price. If they want to overcharge foreign tourists by as much as a thousand percent, then that is their decision. But don't do it in a way that's both sneaky and insulting. Okay, anyway, we're heading up towards a waterfall apparently. Oh, Mal picked it out. Should be good. Follow this track for half a kilometre apparently. Hey, did you check out that black butterfly? That looks good. Yeah, full of butterflies in here. Oh, look at the praying mantis. So I'm getting him in the film. See him there? Ooh. How's that for a quick exit? Yeah. There you go. Ooh. Yeah, butterflies everywhere. Pito haven't got a long tongue. Yeah. Very nice. Down by the river. Wonder if there's any snakes in here. Hey. Why do I have a male with me? Oh, butterflies, unbelievable. I don't know if you're picking I don't know if the camera's picking them up. Very good. Look at the size of the trees, they're very, very, very big. Yeah. That's called the canopy up there. Yeah. I wonder if there's any monkeys up there. Oh look at that. So nice here. Really good. Look at that. Yeah, yeah the waterfall's uh, supposed to be, I think it's um, 600 meter walk. 
to the waterfall. Yeah. What happens? I like doing this sort of thing. It's great uh, walking in the bush like this. Now check the butterflies out. <laughs> Meant the butterflies today. Yeah, very nice. Tell you what, it's a thick uh, undergrowth. I can understand during the war how they um, took them ages to go through the jungle if, you did, if they didn't have a path. Wow. Why well, that thing's all curly? Hmm. Very nice. Well, this is the jungle. Oi. It's the rare back water floor. We walk about 300 meters to waterfall, but the man tell me we must to come in um, rainy season. Now it's nobody come, it's not my people. Whatever, I think they uh, raining every day now. He said, come here in um, August better. Whatever. We drive for one and a half hour. And until in the entrance, we want to go in, pay for a uh, for 200 baht and pay 40 baht. Even special, I pay like time. Fifty for any second. Oh, that's a lot of fun. Nice, isn't it? Be careful. Oh. Oh. I'm going to walk over there. Oh. Check that out. Boy. Hey. Huh? How much further is it? Oh, the side of a piss. I walk very far for nothing. <gasps> no help water at all. Really dry. Oops. Oh god. Oh. The man warning me. You come this time is not good. Because no water. Much you come in the landing season. But, you know, we drive for one and a half hour. I want to look in, in my eye. That's true. Nothing here. <laughs> we come for a foul. Ah, oh, God. In the picture, very beautiful here. 
But now, nothing. Nothing. Very hard to walk too. Oops. Oh, nothing to show anybody. Sorry. Had nothing over there. You see? You see? In two, three months, all full of the water, you know? You can swim over there. It's not now. Hi. See? Look at that. Oh, it's a waterfall. Step by step. Next time, if I have lucky, I come with the learning season. The learning season. I will show you again. Whatever. Very natural. Impressive for me. If you don't like, you're not interesting, but I feel good. We live in the town in Bangkok. Very, very bad pollution, very bad traffic. But, you know, when you come to for travel, like, um, life is easy. You might to change, you might to relax with the um, natural. What do you feel like? Okay, I have to walk back because Steven don't want to come with me. He waiting up on the hill. I have to walk back up over there. Okay, bye now. Very try. You know. I go for fitness to work very hard like that. Maybe you don't pay for fitness and come here every week. Maybe better. <laughs> Just joking. <sighs> you know, very hard for walk like this when you are uh, 56, you know. Yeah. 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 The man come with the family. He asked me about the water floor. I said, no, it's just only one liter. It's hot, but if there's water, it's very beautiful. Best vlogs on Thailand, watch Stephen and Mao on Thailand Unplugged. Thanks for watching. Don't forget subscribe, like and share. I want to give you all a huge thanks for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up and a like. And click on the bell notification for any new videos we release. And I would love to hear from you guys in the comments section below. I'll do my very best to answer each and every one. There are links for Patreon and PayPal if you would like to support us in making videos. Any help would be most appreciated. Until we meet again, have a good one.